in addition to asking for your vote and your trust and your confidence, is I want to be president of the United States. I'm not doing this to get a book deal. I'm not doing this to get a talk show on Fox News. I want to be president. And I'm not gonna be one of those guys that I said in response to that guy's question, you know, he's gonna be sitting around moaning and complaining about this process, okay? Oh, I wish it were better, I wish it were different, I thought it was gonna be easier, I thought it'd be more joyful, I thought, oh, I thought it was gonna be so many other things, but it's not, no, I'm so oppressed and put down, I'm trying to get through as best I can, talk to me, listen to me. No. I am amongst the luckiest people in the world. I'm getting to a chance, a legitimate chance to run for president of the greatest country the world has ever known. Never gonna hear me complain once, not once. My great-grandfather and great-grandmother came to this country on the boat from Sicily when my great-grandmother was nine months pregnant with my grandfather. He, my great-grandfather was a Mason. He was coming to New York and New Jersey because they were building things. He came with $7 in his pocket. And when their ticket got called to come to America, my grandmother, great-grandmother was nine months pregnant. When she made the decision to get on that boat, she knew she was gonna give birth on the boat. I can guarantee everybody this was not like luxury, you know, <laughs> boat on the way over here, okay? I cannot imagine she made that judgment. She wasn't gonna let her husband go by himself she wanted to go to America and she got on there. And my grandfather, my mother's dad, was born on that boat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And my mother used to tease him about it all the time. She'd say, you're nothing. You're not American, you're not Italian, you're nothing. You were born in the middle of the ocean. And it was the only time I can ever remember as a young kid, my grandfather getting visibly angry in front of me. He would get all red in the face and he would yell at my mother. He'd say, don't you say that in front of my grandson. I'm an American. They made me an American when I got to Ellis Island. I'm an American. Don't you say that in front of my grandson. He was so proud that his mother and father had done it the right way. So that when they arrived at Ellis Island and he is an infant, they made him an American citizen. And he was a Mason too, like his father the grandson of the Mason, born in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, to a father with $7 in his pocket, is getting a run for president of the United States. I better never complain about anything. Only in this country, only in this country, could this happen. And so when I tell you I want to be your president, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I want this job. I want to be able to do it well. I want to be able to do it to make the country a better place. I want to be able to do it to make you proud. And you'll never hear me complain, ever. And man, if I haven't complained as governor of New Jersey, you're certainly not going to hear me complain about President of the United States, right? So, so I'm ready. There's some people in this room who came to me four years ago and told me I should run for president. And I told them no because I felt in my heart I wasn't ready. And when I said I wasn't running, that's what I said. I said, I'm not running because I'm not ready. My political advisor said, oh God, don't say that. They'll have that tape forever. <laughs> you saying, I'm not ready to be president. I said, well, I wasn't. And the only thing worse than running for president and losing is running for president and winning when you're not ready. Yeah. Right? And we've seen it. So here's the thing. <laughs> we've seen it. So here's the thing, I'm tested and I'm ready and I wanna do the job. And here's the great thing about New Hampshire. I will guarantee you all something. I win the New Hampshire primary on February 9th. You are looking at the 45th president of the United States. Thank you all for coming.